This is the first video of the Hog 1.3 Upflow Algae Scrubber. I'm going to unbox it here and attach it to this small aquarium here. This is going to be the first video of a sequence of videos, kind of like we did for the Surf 4, and going to be showing the growth and uh, cleaning uh, on each time. So this is a brand new one coming out of the box, and the box is sitting on the little 10 gallon aquarium. And um, that we were previously running the um, 3D printed hog scrubber on. So this is the new, this is the new larger version hogs. There's the hog 1.3, the hog 2, and the hog 3. And so this is the smaller of the three. And um, it is uh, got two LEDs. It's got 30 square inches of green grabber attachment material, and uh, it's got the little pump sitting on the right side that you can kind of see right now. That's the Fusion 700 dual output pump. You're going to be powering this. And uh, so we'll connect it up to this aquarium here, which right now only has three chromas in. It's just been kind of a test tank for different things. And uh, right now we have a drop point two uh, scrubber on the back side, but that doesn't really have a whole lot of effect here. So uh, anyway, we'll put this on. And uh, the one thing that this hog 1.3 has different is it has less magnets only because we're attaching it to this very thin uh, uh, very thin glass. We don't want to break the glass. So um, the actual HOG 1.3 has six strong magnets on the front and six strong magnets on the on the inside part. Uh, so we just have less here so we don't crack the glass. So, of course you want to Read the instructions when you get any of the upflow algae scrubbers. Hang on glass upflow algae scrubber installation. A lot of instructions there. Uh, some hints if you have problems. Uh, of course, you can go online for help too, but most of the stuff is printed right there. So, this is really simple. Basically, That's really all there is. Now, uh, like I said, since this one's going on this very thin uh, 1 8 inch low cost 10 gallon aquarium glass, we didn't want to crack it. So normally the HOG 1.3 and also the HOG 2 and the HOG 3, they have six, six magnets on the front. It would have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and then six on the back. Uh, but we only uh, put two so we don't crack the glass and it's really plenty strong for that. Uh, so this is the HOG 1.3. It has the uh, isolated power supply here with the North American plug which you can cut off and put a plug from any country that you're at and it will still work and you don't need to replace the power supply driver. Um, for this one I just cut off the tubing Normally you're going to get three feet of tubing, uh, which is plenty, but right here we only have to go to the pump right here, so I just cut that off. So anyway, of course just need to uh, undo the wire with one hand. Of course, don't put the power supply in the water. You need to keep that dry. I'll probably be adding more fish in here. Maybe a tang or something, a couple of snails, a couple of uh, hermit crabs. Okay, so on the inside, the hog 1.3. I'm sorry, yes, the hog 1.3 here has two LEDs and the heat sink. You probably saw this on the comparison video. So that's all you need for aquariums with uh, no algae problems and of course for small test ones like this. And it's just, just going to go right there just like that. The inside part of course has 30 square inches of green grabber attachment material for the algae to grow on there. It's got the sliced airline which goes behind the material which we're just going to take out and go to the pump here and um, just tuck in these tabs to start with and then uh, see how the bubbles are when you 
put it in there. So we'll just do that right now. Matter of fact, we'll do it without even attaching it. We're just going to take the pump. Now you do need a good size pump for these larger hogs. The hog 1.3, the hog 2, and the hog 3 uh, have a good bit of tubing here that needs to be filled with air. So that's why the Fusion 700 pump and other pumps like this are good because they have the two outlets that you can combine into one. When we sell this pump, we include this little adapter here so you can combine it into one. So, when you place it in, we'll go ahead and just connect this up. Now I have the pump on, I have the pump on low. As you can see, we have a lot of uh, fire activity going on outside right now. Okay, so this is on low. This pump is adjustable. Gonna increase the pump up like this to high. This is usually how you wanna keep it, something like this. You'll see the bubbles coming out of the top. And actually, if you look at this, you have right now bubbles coming out of about five places, and that's really all you need. It does not need to be on every possible place across the screen because as soon as the growth the growth gets thick it's going to reroute the bubbles anyway and uh, so there's just no need of making it perfect right now but if for some reason yours is coming all out of this side or it's coming all out of this side all you need to do is tilt this to get it just about in the middle it does not need to be straight and it doesn't matter if it's straight at all and of course if you have a rim at the top up here and you don't want these bubbles because maybe you have salt water and you can't get it up like that, then you just attach a little tubing or a fitting to the hole and then just bring it up. And that way you can keep this down and then route the bubbles up. But right now we can keep this down here or we can raise it to here and that removes all the bubbles because we don't have an inside rim blocking it. Okay. That's really it. So we just need to attach the light. Right now the light's off and we'll go plug it in, in in one second. But basically, that's it. Now it's installed. All right, so let me go plug the light in. And maybe you can now see a little bit of the red glow. Of course, there would be more at nighttime. And you can time the lights to be on or off whenever you want them to be. Just keep them on at least uh, about 12 hours a day. There's instructions right here, 12 to 22 hours a day, based on what you're trying to do. Also, for this particular tank, I just use this black piece of plastic cover to keep it from splashing up like that. Okay, but we'll just leave that off right now. And just to show you the light. Alright. So the bubbles bringing water flow and nutrients up across the screen coming out the top here. And if you raise it up like this so that you remove the bubbles, then the water flow goes back down and it goes out these side holes. And that's about it for installing it. So we'll do videos on each cleaning for the next several cleanings. I hope to do at least 10 cleanings. That's a good number to get an average by. And uh, maybe I'll add some more fish and inverts and whatnot to the tank. Uh, but I do want to keep the bubbles up all the way. And I think right now we're running the lights here about 18 hours a day. Uh, because the scrubber that it just replaced was completely packed with growth. And um, it was, of course, it was much smaller. But it was a complete handful and it was packed full of pods too. So we cleaned all that out, got it out of the way. And now there's no filter on this tank at all, really, except for this. So 
In another seven days when it starts to grow, then this will be the complete filter for the tank.